Good day and welcome to another broadcast of Venture Capital Fund. This program comes to you with the kind compliments of Venture Capital Inc. and Global Branded and Marketing. And in the event that you're joining me for the first time, do permit me to say that Venture Capital Fund is a program designed to help you to understand the inner workings of business and provide you with a content of information that really helps you to build your business, your brand, your idea with local, regional, and international relevance. On the other hand, we also focus a lot on financial models that really helps you to understand how to position your business, your brand, your idea to get access to capital and that is commercial um, financing, investment funds, and accredited investors. Along with this, creating fund is one thing, accessing funds is one thing, but being able to manage and mitigate that fund so it has to reduce the debt cost and gain the equity in your asset much earlier so you get greater equity leverage are also financial models that we look at. So if you're in business and you want to know a better, smarter way that you can do business in order to cash flow and up level your income potentials, this is the program for you. Now, my name is Gary Thompson. I'm a business development consultant by profession. I'm a humanitarian by nature, and I'm the multiple best-selling author for several books, including Billionaire Codes, and Manager's Toolkit. These two books are already on the bestseller list. Today I have ex exciting news. We are going to be looking at a pretty interesting topic, and that topic has everything to do with attention and brand awareness. So we're gonna dig deep into this program today to really help you to understand um, how to create attention and how to build brand awareness in the eyes of your existing and potential customers. Now, there's three essential concepts that I want you to take away here and um, today as we look at what is your attention grabber and brand awareness. Attention and brand awareness. The first concept that I want you to look at and write this down is what we're gonna call brand relevance. The second concept that I want you to look at and write this down is what we're going to call messaging content. Messaging content. The last but not least that we're going to be looking at today is what we call communication channels. Communication channel. Now, these three concepts are absolutely relevant when you are making any attempt to bring attention to your brand or to create awareness for your brand. So we will look at this today and we will look at two examples to reinforce the learning concept. So I trust that you have your pens and your books and to take some notes. Now, what exactly do we mean by brand relevance? And we'll talk about this. So you want to get attention, you want to create awareness of your business, your idea, and your brand. So you have to ask yourself, what relevance does the brand has to the potential and existing customers? How does your brand reach a need? How does your brand add value or fix a problem? What is the relevance of your brand to the specific target market? Now, if you do not know this, it is very, very hard for you to establish brand relevance. And you being able to establish brand relevance, not only in your mind, but more importantly, in the potential consumer mind, is key to getting attention and building brand awareness. Because if that specific target market has an interest in the brand, you're most likely to get the attention, raise the awareness, and the process can start from there. So the first thing that you wanna do 
is to ensure that you establish brand relevance. But how do you go about establishing brand relevance? Again, I want to encourage you to look back at the previous programs and you will be able to put one on one and make it two. You cannot establish brand relevance if you do not understand your target market. <laughs> it's so important. So the understanding of your target market is fundamental to creating attention and building brand awareness in the minds of your specific target market. You must invest the time, the talent, and the resources to understand your target market. And it is this understanding that really helps you now to ensure that whatever products you're offering, whatever services you're offering, they are relevant to the specific target market. Absolutely necessary. Now, let us talk a little bit now about messaging content. Because while it is important for you to do the first step, which is to ensure that the brand, the product, the services that you're offering is relevant to the consumer, your messaging content must be right. All right, and the messaging content must be designed to be strong, to be effective, and can easily communicate information about the brand relevance to the specific target market. So the messaging content, again, this is done by a professional. This is done by copywriters, advertising copywriters, who can interpret the specific target market needs, wants, and expectation, interpret the company's value proposition, which should be to speak to those needs, wants, and expectations, and coin them in a messaging content that truly, one, gets the brand message across to the potential consumers and get their attention. All of this requires strategic systems, special talents and skills to be able to do this effectively. It is not just about writing an ad for radio and television and newspaper and just putting it out there. You can do that. But in our case, we always ask ourselves, what is the dash mark? How do we define the advertising goal for measured advertising? effectiveness. Your advertising copywriter must be able to apply the dash mark of advertising in this case. So when they write that ad for the newspaper, it is on point. When they design that, that ad for the magazine, it's on point. When they produce that ad for television, it's on point. For it to be on point, you have to understand all of the lifestyle, cultural issues, specific demographic targeting issues, and con this with the brand intention value traits to make impact. Absolutely necessary for you to be able to master this. So one is the, for you to understand the brand relevance. You must know that. Research again. Second thing you must understand, messaging content. The messaging content must be informed by the research. It must be able to speak to the needs of the potential customer, and it must be able to represent the corporate proposition. You conduct that in the most unique way, and then you set it up for it to be communicated effectively across to the potential an existing target market. Absolutely necessary for you to be able to do this. The third step or system, we're going to call this communication channel. These three things must work together. Brand relevance, messaging content, and communication channel. 
why is the communication channel so important? Because to get the information across to your audience, to build, to get attention, to build brand awareness, you have to use appropriate communication channels. Again, this is the radio, the television, and the newspaper. This is magazine, this is social platforms. You need to know how to get your message across to a specific uh, demographic. So that means you have to invest the time to understand communication channel. Now, this is something that I want you to take very serious and I want you to look very deep into it. Because again, it's not about just knowing the brand relevance, it's not just about designing a unique, cute messaging content, but you must be able to select the appropriate and effective communication channel. And what do I mean by effective and appropriate communication channel? It means that the communication outlet must be specific to your target market. The communication channel outlets must be specific to your target market, meaning that you look at census return, you look at various data, and you are able to gather information uh, of the number of persons that look at this program, the cultural type, the lifestyle type, the economic type of people that looks at this program. So you can make an informed and educated decision how to place and how to position your messaging content that represents your brand relevance. Now, if you don't know this, you can have well-targeted brand relevance. You know your brand relevance. You can have excellent messaging content because you take the time to understand or you hire the best people to do your copywriting. But guess where you fall down? You fall down in communication channels. You fall down in identifying the appropriate and effective communication channel that will literally allow you to hit directly, hit home in the hearts and minds and souls of the potential and existing customers or clientele base. So it's important for you to understand this. Just don't put your ads on radio. Just don't put your ad on television. Just don't put your ads in the newspaper. You have to learn how to be specific, effective, appropriate in place in your ad because hundreds of thousands of dollars and millions of dollars are wasted every year because of the misappropriation in the selection process, the selection and placement of the message and content. And you need to ensure that you can prevent this from happening. So this is some of the things that we do at Global Branded and Marketing and Venture Capital Inc. to ensure that you get more effectiveness in your advertising design, more effectiveness in the advertising placement, more effectiveness in attention and awareness and customer response. So in the event that you need some expert advice, feel free to reach out to us for free consultation. For the rest of this year, we're gonna be offering free consultation to really help you to scale your business, your brand, your idea with local, regional, and international relevance. All right. So the three concepts that we look at today, as we look at attention and brand awareness, we look at brand relevance, we look at messaging content, and we also look at communication channel. These three things must work together. If they're not working together, you're gonna to have some, from some problems. Again, you can be 
appropriate and effective in selecting the communication channel, but your messaging content is weak. You need to know this. So any one of these things can go wrong. You need to have a, a perfect symbiotic relationship between the brand relevance, messaging content, and communication channel. And when you have this, you need to give yourself a tap on the back because it is the first step in moving in the right direction to be able to achieve strong attention and awareness where you can get positive customer conversion. So I want us to look at two examples here to bring a clearer picture to our message today. So I trust you you write down those three things. In case you didn't write it down, look back at the video, take your notes. The first example I want to give, now your clients and potential clients are business leaders. Your clients and potential clients are business leaders. Now, you need to, you want to position your brand in their mind. You want to get attention. What are the first thing that you can do to get attention? We know is to make sure that your brand is relevant to the, to the business leaders. One of the easiest ways to identify relevance is to ask yourself, what are the, some of the challenges that businesses go through and how you can fix it, how you can add value? One of the first thing you can do to identify relevance is to ask yourself, what are some of the challenges that businesses go through because this is your demographic and how you can add value how we can fix problems. Some of the common problems that businesses go through is access to capital. That is always at the top of the list. Access to markets, uh, dealing with issues of absenteeism, and dealing with issues of staff turnover. These are just some of the challenges that businesses are faced with. Now, your unique selling proposition, your business proposition, must be able to speak to some or all of these problems that businesses are faced with. Perhaps you might be able to say, my business, my value proposition is to provide businesses with easy access to capital. So what you do, you have you are either positioned to be a operate like a venture capital fund where you can give seed capital, uh, startup capital as an angel investor. You can help businesses to position themselves as IPO, initial public offer. You can position businesses to access uh, growth capital, venture capital. So your business model is to help businesses to overcome the access to capital challenge. So here is where you can immediately establish relevance because you're speaking to their needs. So well, you cannot speak to their needs if you don't have the information. So again, market intelligence. You might be an accredited investor and you simply identify businesses that has potential and a similar principle applies. This same principle applies to market access. What are some of the challenges that businesses are facing? A lot of business startup, a lot of small and medium sized business, as you talk with them, they have an access to market challenge. And the market, to, the access to market challenge is not only the will, the vision to integrate into those markets. You may have policy framework that are preventing persons from entering those markets. Can your value proposition speak to these issues to help businesses? Can you, your value proposition, 
have brand relevance in this case to the specific target market? These are questions that you have to constantly keep asking yourself as you try to establish brand relevance in the hearts and minds and soul of the specific target market. Now, if you cannot do this, it's one of the reasons why your business may not necessarily scale the way you want it to be really scale. Because you have to speak to these things from the get go. Your potential clientele base, your existing clientele base, must know that you're in a position of strength to add value, fix problems that are specific to their needs, wants, and expectations to scale, diversify, and integrate their business across region and across the world. So your brand relevance, your value proposition must be able to speak. So your value proposition is speaking to the client's relevance, their needs, so it is now relevant. Now, once you can clearly establish this, the next step for you to do is what? Develop your messaging content. And your messaging content can say, okay, Venture Capital Inc., Venture Capital Fund, we provide financial support to small, medium, and large scale businesses. One message content. Venture Capital Fund, Global Branding and Marketing, we help people to reduce their mortgage costs. That's a problem too. Can you fix that problem? So your messaging content here is where you speak specifically to the problem. Don't dance a rugged. Get specific to the problem. And here is where you can establish brand relevance, your message and content. Again, the communication channel that you're going to get the message across must be right. Must be right. But to get it right, again, depending on which part of the world you're at, you may have to go and get do primary research as against secondary and speculative data. You may have to get some skin in the game to get primary research done on the, the relevant, the programs, the channels that are relevant, the channels of communication that are relevant to your specific target market. If you don't have the primary information, you're going to be relying on secondary information. Secondary information can be outdated and misleading. Worse than that, you have speculative data where you just sit and speculate that everybody is your target audience. Wrong. You could spend and waste millions of dollars here. You need to get the research done. If you need help with that and cost-effective means of doing this, I want to encourage you to reach out to us at Venture Capital Inc. and Global Branding and Marketing. We have a team of subject matter experts excited, not just ready, but we are excited to work with you to help you navigate some of the rough terrains of business. So I trust that you've taken notes on these examples. The third example that I want us to look at, and I want to emphasize this a lot, as you position your brand to get attention, as you position your brand to build awareness in the minds of the existing and potential customer, I want you to constantly invest, invest in knowing what is your value proposition? Invest in knowing what is your value proposition. You must know it. Once you know this, you can easily create alignment. You must also know what is what we call your BIVT. Brand intention value traits. You must know it. All of that is covered in this book, this best-selling book, Manager's Toolkit. 
you want to invest your time and your talent and your resources to understand what is your value proposition, know your value proposition, know your brand intention value traits. It's your business, it's your idea, it's your brand, and you need to know those value traits. What value are you adding to the existing and potential customers? What problems are you fixing for the existing and the potential clientele base? You need to know it. And this is essential as you take steps in form action to position your brand, to gain attention, and to build brand awareness. All right, to build, build brand awareness. So I wanna thank you for taking the time out for listening to me today. I trust that you find this information useful. Um, in the event that you've never given us a, thum a thumbs up, I wanna encourage you to give us a thumbs up. The little button that marks subscribe, just press the button so you will subscribe to the program and you will be one of the first persons uh, to get these daily nuggets that we are bringing to you that can really help you to build a better business, build a better brand, and grow and scale your business with local, regional, and international relevance. Along with this, we really want to, we are working with businesses, small, medium, and large scale businesses to really help you help to understand how to better manage debt. And uh, we also work with a private individual who might have a mortgage and who wants to know smarter ways uh, to mitigate and manage that mortgage debt. So you can have the equity in your assets much earlier, you can have equity leverage, and equity leverage can be used to help you to build not only generational wealth, but intergenerational wealth using the systems that we uh, can give to you at Venture Capital Fund, Venture Capital Inc., and Global Branding and Marketing. So again, my name is Gary Thompson. I'm a business development consultant by profession. I'm a humanitarian by nature, and I'm the multiple best-selling author for Billionaire Codes and Managers to Get. Today, we look at a very interesting topic, and that is attention and brand awareness. In looking at this topic, we cover three specific areas. We look at brand relevance. We explain what that means. We look at messaging content. We explain what that means. And we also look at communication channel, and we explain what that means. You also have two examples. In the event that you missed it, do look back at this program several times so the message that can be reinforced in your mind. And remember, knowledge is power. But it, it is the application of that knowledge is where you get your superpower. So you just don't want to just learn this information and say that I'm a little smarter. You want to know that you're taking action and informed action to apply these concepts to your business. To ensure that your business is growing from strength to strength. Again, in the event that you need assistance, do reach out to us at Venture Capital Inc. Global Branding and Marketing. We have a team of PFAs, professional financial advisors and personal financial advisors. We also have a team of economists, a team of accountants, business consultants, who are always excited to work with you. So reach out to us today for a free consultation and that's free consultations for the rest of this year. And um, I'm absolutely certain that our systems has, has helped tons of people over the years, and I'm certain that it will impact your life in a positive way. Be blessed, and we look forward to seeing you